Hey guys, it's Carl Brown here from GuitarLessons365.com. Gonna do another redo lesson today, and my friends over at the Play Guitar Hits app, they're the same makers as Guitar, Guitar Pro Software, which I'm sure everybody loves. Um, they are sponsoring this video, and they're also putting this song in their app. So you'll be able to see all the performance videos um, that you see in this video will actually be in their app, um, but it's also gonna have scrolling in sync tablature with it. So we've done this before, it was really great with the Mahat for Teacher lesson. So we're gonna do this here, because it's Satriani, you gotta treat it right. Um, so you'll have the scrolling tab in the app, you'll be able to slow it down, um, loop the tab, loop the video with the tab and slow it down, just whatever, you know, it's really cool features that you can do. Uh, it's all available on multiple platforms and you'll see a link to the app in the description below and you get a free seven day trial so you can check out not only my videos, but there's a, they have a lot of great guitar players that are putting content there um, and it's all video with just in sync tab underneath it. Not the band in sync, but actually synchronized tablature. Um, yeah, some in sync tab, that'd be great. Anyway, but please go check it out. They are kind enough to make this video happen and sponsoring this video. So I really appreciate their support. The Play Guitar Hits app, you'll see a link to it in the description below, and I'll be doing more with them soon. So stay tuned for that. So um, let's go through this. Before I do, though, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Ring the notification bell and all that good jazz and all that stuff. That really helps me out a lot. It helps and, you know engage with the videos, watch the videos. That's what really makes this happen. Um, and a really, really excellent way to support what I do here on YouTube is to join my Guitar Academy. And you're gonna see a link to that in the description below, my Guitar Academy, all my guitar courses, from complete beginner courses to more advanced courses in technique, improvisation, ear training, and theory, you name it. You get live video chats with me every week with just academy members only and uh, personal support from me beyond that as well. So please go check it out. Free seven day trial for that as well by clicking the link to my academy below. All right, so let's jump into this. Um, so we're gonna start with the rhythm sections of the song. So we basically have a, a main theme and then a second theme and then an outro section. That's really kind of the only two rhythms. So the rhythm guitar parts are pretty, not basic, they're pretty crazy chords that he uses, but it's kind of repetitive. So, um, so the rhythm you'll see here for the performance video for the first theme, this is the rhythm guitar parts. So now let's take a look at this uh, first theme here. So this first chord is pretty hairy. So what we're doing here is going to be starting here at the seventh fret there on the low E string, then the ninth on the D, the eighth on the G string, and then way back here, the fifth fret there on the B. So that is going to require you, if you're I get your thumb up here at the top of the fretboard, there's no way that you're gonna be able to do this very easily. You need to lower that thumb, lower the back of the neck, and that allows those fingers to kind of extend upwards and then out. So that's how you wanna do it. That's how your hand's supposed to work at least. So, seventh fret on the low E, ninth on the D, eight on the G, five on the B. So once you got those notes, then we do the picking pattern. So you're palm muting across all the strings. So just lay your palm down there in front of the bridge. Kind of, kind of a slightly crunched tone. It's, it's very light distortion. And he's doing that. So that's gonna be playing the low E string and then the D and the G and then the, it's a little six note pattern. Then upstrokes, three upstrokes, B, G, D. Just repeat that twice. All right, from there, we're gonna play the open low E string, the sixth fret there on the D and the G, and then the fourth fret there on the B, and you're gonna use the same picking pattern, it's still muting. 
pick that once. And then here you can do it with your thumb if you want, or just do a bar. Um, but regardless, you're playing the, sixth, the, the second fret there on the low E string. And, um, um, and the fourth fret there on the D and the G, and the second fret there on the, the B. So however you want to get that low E note, you can just do it with a bar or the thumb. Uh, so we have this. So it's that same picking pattern just done once there. And then you come back up here and start over. Again. So after the third time, you're gonna move the bass note up to the fourth fret there on the uh, low E string. So here you won't be doing a bar. You have the fourth fret on the low E, then still fourth on the D and the G, and then that second fret there on the B. And then back up to that E chord that we did, which is that open E string, six on the D and the G, and four on the B. And then back to the uh, chord we did in the second fret, put the second fret root note there. But here now we're going to resolve it because this is a sus chord. We're going to resolve it by taking this note on the um, G string down to the third fret from the fourth. So just pick this up and just make it third, fourth fret now on the D, third on the G, and still second on the B, and then second on the low E. So that happened basically after three times of playing the, the progression. So we have this. Do that three times and then this. And that's basically the rhythm guitar parts for theme one. All right, now here is the performance video for the rhythm guitar parts for theme two. So let's take a look at these. Looks like this. We're, we're going to start here with this minor add nine, this B minor add nine. So that's going to be barring at the seventh fret here. Uh, so it's seventh fret on the low E string, ninth fret there on the A string, eleventh fret there on the D, and then that seven from the bar being held at the uh, on the G string. So it's just these four bottom strings. So even though it's like kind of the three down, three up pattern, the same pattern, there's no string skipping. It's just across four strings. Do that twice. And then we're going to take it to an E minor add nine. So that's the open E, second fret on the A, fourth fret on the D, open G. And then we're going to take it here, we're going to do a bar at the second fret there. Um, across the, all the way from the low E to the D. And then you're going to have in front of it the fifth fret there on the A and the fourth fret there on the G. So it's just two, four, two, four. It's got the same picking pattern now. Just pick once across. So we have this. Repeat. So just like we did before, with three times of the riff, and then we had this new ending. All right, so that's gonna be, that's the third fret on the low E string, open D, second fret on the G, 
-hmm. then open B. So we're back to having a little string skip in there. So skip from the sixth over to the D. And that's the same pattern that we kind of started with. And then we go back down to the, so it, that E minor um, add nine. So back to just the four bottom strings. And then back to the same chord. So we have this. We take the, we've got that chord that we did earlier, but now we're just going to pick through it twice. But the second time, you're going to take the note on the um, G string and resolve it down to the third. So that's going to just be uh, this F F7 chord. F sus seven is going to become a, just a regular F7. Um, and that's going to be the third fret there on the G. So it's still the bottom uh, four strings. So this. So. Then we kind of repeat that again. But when we get to the F. Um, F7 sus chord, you're going to do the picking pattern twice to that before you resolve it. And then resolve it to the, the A sharp there. And um, then it goes back to theme one again. All right, so now real quickly, let's check out the performance video for the outro section of the rhythm. So nothing really new here. We're just going to take that first initial chord shape and just pick across it. Same picking pattern, just, just eight times. So there's nothing really new there. It's just kind of holding on that one chord instead of moving around a little bit. All right, so now let's get to the lead guitar sections. Um, so now the fun stuff begins. So here is the performance for the opening lead guitar track um, section, which is just theme one. All right, so we're going to start this theme, kind of a more uh, subdued version of the melody. So that's just going to start on the B string, four, five, seven, four, five, slide to seven, then slide to nine, then back down, seven, five. So if you know the song, just know the melody well. It's going to help you kind of pick this up. So just, just like random notes too. You can kind of really hear where it's going to go. So after that fifth fret there on the B string, you're going to slide four to six on the G. And then we have this. So after you slid to that, you're here at the sixth fret, you're going to slide back down, kind of do a little uh, lead into that fourth, just slide into that fourth fret, then come back up, six, eight, slide into nine, back to uh, eight, down to six, and then jump over to the fourth fret there on the D string. From there we have this. So that's going to be kind of palm muted here at the fourth fret there on the D string a couple of times. 
over to four on the G, and then back to the fours on the D string a couple times, and then slide four to six on the G. And then slide up to eight, and then back down to four. I'm sorry, down to, back down to six. And then come back down to the fourth fret there on the G string, we have this. So that starts with uh, the fourth fret on the G first. It kind of adds a little note to the melody there, a little pickup note. So that fourth fret on the G, then come back over to the fourth fret on the B and play four, five, seven, nine, and then back down to seven, slide down to five, four, two. Now you see when I'm doing that, I'm actually muting the G and the B, uh, G, the G and the high E around it, so you can. And if you didn't do that, it's really hard to not get the other strings around it when you're trying to do these like extended slides. It's going to be a lot of noise. So just mute, and then. Slide into the up to the four on the G to end it. All right, from there we have this. So we're kind of coming back up. So, so that's going to be four, five, seven on the B. Slide into nine. Back over to seven on the high E string. Pick that a couple times and then slide 11 to nine on the B. And then we have this quick little lick. So that lick, you don't, you're gonna wanna start this with an upstroke. So that's gonna be nine on the high E string over to 12 on the B. You're going to do that twice. And then 9, 11, 12 into a whole step bend. And then jump up here to the 14th fret. Pull off to 11 real quick. Over to 14 on the B into a whole step bend. All right, from there we have this. So that's gonna be a half step bend and release there at the um, 18th fret. And then pull off to 16. Over to 19 there on the B. And then Back to the 18th fret, a little spin and release. Back to the 19 on the B, and then to 16 on the high E. All right, from there, we're gonna... That's a bend there at the 19th fret on the high E. Whole step bend, and then play 19 without the bend, and then come over to the 17th fret. We do a bend there. Pitch on there. And then we have this next phrase. So that uh, right there, from here we have. So that's going to be the 16th fret there on the high E string. And then <laughs> play 15. Pull off 14, pull off to 13, slide down to 11. So it's a chromatic lick, so you gotta do it quick or it sounds not so good. And then over to 14, up to, up to 14. And then you're gonna pull off uh, 12 to 11 on the high E string, over to 14 on the B. And then you're going to jump up.
That's 19 on the high E string real quick, and then into a pre-bend at the 18th fret there on the G. It's kind of hard to grab real quick. So then you grab 18 on the high E, then back to that 18 on the G string, and then 16 on the high E to 16 on the G. And then a bending release at the 19th fret there on the B. All right, so the next uh, lead guitar section is the theme two section. Uh, so we already looked at the chords. So let's look at the lead guitar parts for theme two now. Here's the performance video. <laughs> So the licks are getting a little bit more challenging here. So let's take a look at this. We have this. All right, so that's gonna be, how's that been released at the 21st fret there on the high E string? The release, just put, play that without the bend. And then you can do a half step pre-bend at the 14th fret. So that little pre-bend, release, pull off to 12, over to 15 on the B, back to 12 on the high E string, and then pull off, play 15 on the B, pull off 14, pull off 12. Slide into 17 on the uh, a high E string and pull off to 14. All right, and then we got this next legato look, a little bit longer. So this is gonna start with a kind of a bend and release here at that ninth fret on the high E string. And then pull off to seven. Over to uh, 10 on the B, back to 7 on the high E string. And then, you need to play 10, pull off to 8, pull off to 7. And then over to the G string, you need to play 9, pull off to 7, pull off to 6, hammer back on to 7. You're gonna pause for a second. And then when you get move away from the nine, you're gonna pull off to six, I'm sorry, seven, pull off to six, slide down to four, hammer back on six and seven. Alright, from there, you're gonna pause slightly there. not going to pause the rest of the lick. So um, from here, so you're going to pull off to six, pull off to four, over to seven on the D string, back to the um, fourth fret there on the G. Pick seven on the D, pull off to, you can just hammer off from nowhere too. You don't have to pick these notes. You, really, the only note you have to pick probably is just going to be Anything that's played by the index finger, it's the first note on a string. So we have here, you can play that as just a hammer off from nowhere, and then pick that fourth fret there on the G, and then come back, hammer off from nowhere uh, on the D string, the seventh fret, pull off to five, pull off to four, hammer back on five, hammer back on seven. There on the G again, and then come back down. Playing hammer on seven, pull off five, four on the D, and the same thing on the A. So kind of just so it is. All right, 
now from there, we're going to have this little pinch harmonic that starts this next phrase. <laughs> So that pitch on mod is going to be at this um, sixth fret there on the G string, and then kind of kind of bend and release. And you're going to then another legato lick. We're going to start here at the seventh fret there on the D string, hammer on nine, and then play seven, hammer on nine. Then play seven on the B string, hammer on eight, ten. Then play seven on the high E, hammer on nine, ten. So we pull back off to nine, pull back off to seven, hammer on to ten there on the uh, B string, pull off to eight and seven, and then. Slide 9 to 11 on the B. From there, slide 10 to 12 on the B string. That's going to be now pick 12 again on the B string. Bend and release at the 14th fret there on the high E string. And then slide down into the 11th fret there on the G, and then slide down into 9 on the A string. And then we have this. So we have this bend and release in the 14th fret on the B string, over to 12 on the, the B the 12 on the G, then a whole step, I'm sorry, a half step bend and release at the 14th fret on the high string, and pull off to 12, slide down to 11, over to 14 on the B, slide down to 12, and 11. And then, so that's the end of the theme two section, we go back to theme one, and it's kind of the reprise of theme one. So um, it's very similar to the first time we played through theme one, it looks like this. So we're going to start here with this. So that's just up on the high E string, 11, 12, slide into 14, and then up to 16, back to 14, 12, 11. Back to 12, and then I did it with that finger so I could reach over here. The 12th fret on the B, slide up to 14. And then I'm going to slide down into 12, then back up, 14 to 16. Then to release there, half step in, down to 14. And then slide down into the 11th fret there on the G. And then we have this. So that's just kind of starting from the... So the 11th fret there on the G a couple times. Kind of staccato. Over to the 12th fret there on the B. Then back to a couple 11s on the G again. Slide 12 to 14 on the B. And 
to 16, and then back down to 14. And then climb up the scale again on the high E. 11, 12, 14, 16. Then pull off to 14. Over to 17 on the B. Then 16. Slide down to 14. And then slide down to 12. All right, now we get to the tapping section slash kind of probably the main solo section. So here's a performance video for that, and then I'll kind of take you through everything note for note. So this tapping section, when we when we left the previous section, we were hanging out here on this note. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start the the tapping section is really you're just kind of tapping and pulling off to the open B string. So you're tapping the twelfth fret and, and pulling off to the open B, and then hammering on a different note on the B string after each time. So, So it's just a three note pattern. But the very first time you play a melody note, you're just kind of doing a hammer on from nowhere. So you get to basically just, since you're right here, you're just gonna go back and just hammer on the ninth fret there. I'm sorry, the 11th fret there. And then you're gonna start the actual pattern, which is this. Gonna... So, so let's just do this. So we know we're gonna have to do a, just a hammer on to the, the, ninth, the 11th fret, just out of nowhere. But then we're gonna start, now always, the tap is always gonna be the 12th fret. And you're always gonna pull off to the open B. And now we just gotta figure out what notes the, the frets the melody is at, because the melody is gonna move around as the note move around in the fret hand. So we have this. So you're gonna go after that initial tap, and then you uh, hammer on from nowhere, I'll say that. And then you start the pattern. Hammer on nine, and then do the same thing again. Hammer on seven, and then back to nine. Then five. So it's more about wanting to hear, if you can hear this much. You'll be able to kind of trace it a lot easier. If not, you just gotta call out, just write down the numbers that I'm calling out here, and it might make you. There's gonna be basically three long lines of numbers to get this melody exactly right. So we have this, the 11th fret there, out of nowhere, right? And now we start the tapping. You're gonna hammer on nine, then seven, nine. So you can just write these down. All right, so that's the first line. So make that as the first line there. And now we're going to continue the same pattern. And we're just going to call out a new line of, of notes that are being played in the fret hand. So that's 11 twice. And then nine, seven, and back up to nine. So we have and then back 
down to seven. And down to five. Then back up to seven. And nine. And then work your way back down to seven. Five. Now go down to four. And then two, you're going to play three times. So that second line sounds like this. Alright, and then we're going to continue the pattern again. Now we have a third line of notes. Once again, it's just the melody note that's changing. Left and right. well, a lot of the times, you, if you know the note, you can hear that. The, you hear where, where it's going and kind of, kind of going between you know, nine down to five and back up, you know, kind of staying along the scale. So um, if you know the melody, it's going to help you memorize the notes just by ear a lot better. And then we're going to start the last line here. So we're going to do the 11 twice. And it's going to be exactly the same, pretty much, as the previous line. Except at the end, instead of going down to two three times, you're going to go to from four up back up to five and do that um, four times. And then we're going to go into some double stops. So it's, you want to think of these as just kind of doing the same thing, same pattern. It's just like you got three lines of melody notes. And the, the melody to the second and third time through is pretty similar, except for the very ending note. So um, it should not be that difficult to memorize it. Um, but like I said, if you can hear it, the melody is going to help you a lot more. Now, coming out of that, we have this. <laughs> So those that when you first hit that first double stop, I kind of just flick it with my index finger so I can grab my pick and do this again. By the way, I'm putting my pick is it's at the joint there between my the, the two knuckles there, my middle finger. So I like to hold it when I'm hiding it. So uh, it's the double stop across the B string. It's the uh, second fret across the B and the high E. your pick and then do that slide again and then jump over slide from seven nine same double stops and then slide again from that seven nine and then we have nine on the b 12 on the high e string and then move that slide it up two frets but do a little bar dip into it And then move that 12th uh, note on the B string up to the 12th fret and still hold that 14th fret on the IE. And then we have this. So that right there is going to be... Up to the 19th fret on the high E string. Pick that a couple times. And then what you're going to do is play 16 on the high E and then... Play 19 on the B and pull off to 16. And then a bend at the 19th fret of the high E string, release, and then pull off to 16, and then pull off 19, 16 on the B again. And then up to the 21st fret, hot, uh, whole step, bend and release, pull off to 19. And then back to that um, 21st fret. And then we kind of have some blues licks here. Looks like this. So it's kind of the sec one lick repeated twice here. He's doing a couple bends at the 6th fret on the G. Into a 4th fret on the B string, to 4th fret on the high E. Uh, seven to four on the B. 
And then you're gonna do a whole set bend at the sixth fret there on the G, and then the fourth fret there on the B. that lick again it's gonna be a little slight difference in a little ending added so we have the same when you right here when we do this here you're gonna grab the double stop so going to, so the second time through you're gonna hit a double stop across the B and IE there the fourth fret so we have this that's the first time through then to the um, uh, fourth fret on the A. All right, next section. All right, so we're getting to the end here. Well, this is a really cool lick, though. That's going to slide into the 11th fret there on the G. And then up to the 14th fret on the high E string. Back to 11 on the G. And then a half set bend and release at the uh, uh, 11th fret there on the high E. Then you're going to pull off to 7. I'm sorry, pull off to 9. You're gonna play 12, pull off to 11, and 9. So it, and then hammer back on to 11. So. And then from there, you're gonna do a quick play 9, hammer 11, pull back off to 9, slide down to 7, and then. Then play, pull off 9 to 7, pull off to 5, slide down to 5, and slide back to 7. Then jump up here to the 21st fret, all set bend, down to 19, and then bend that 21 again, and then come down here to the 4th fret there on the uh, D string. And that's the end, of, we're like kind of the solo section. Um, and then we get back to theme one again. Now, um, here's the performance video. This is kind of the second reprise of theme one. So this section is exactly like uh, the intro. So um, the, the first time of the theme one, the, the lead guitar part. So there's really nothing new to do here. It's the same kind of. When you get to that note, that will start the official outro section where we're kind of repeating that chord rhythm figure that we talked about that just kind of makes up the outro and there's like this really cool um, legato thing over the outro. So this is what that sounds like. <laughs> So now this outro section, we're going to start with this. Kind of start with that same melody up the B string. So that's just that four, five, seven, 
Nine. Back down to seven. Five, four, five. And slide four to six on the G. And then we had the last kind of lick in the song, which is this legato lick. All right, so we have this eighth fret there on the little, little pauses here. He's got to kind of stop on the, the right notes and it's kind of a little speed burst of legato in between them. So we have eight on the D. So for the most part, when I'm doing this, I kind of want to make this as smooth as possible. I'm picking any time the index finger is the first note on the string. But if it's any other note, if there's any other note that can start a note on the string, I'm just going to go hammer off from nowhere. So that's kind of the only place I'm really aiming for picking. for Always With Me, Always With You. It's a fantastic song, There's beautiful melodies, some great solos in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And once again, thank you to Play Guitar Hits uh, for sponsoring this video. Please check out their app. You'll see a link to it in the description below.